Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with another new topic which is morphology of flowering plants. In uh, under this topic we'll be reading about uh discussing sorry discussing about root stem leaf inflorescence flower fruit and seeds and seven these are the seven uh, subtopics we'll be discussing in our further videos one by one and uh, this is the uh, i think these videos are more essential for you to uh, to understand and to get the basic terminology knowledge in the plant taxonomy third semester botany topic this is very important for you uh, whereas in bot uh, whereas in bsc level graduation level or it's post graduation level you will be getting all these things all these topics repeatedly okay topic which is root <coughs> okay uh, first we will see here uh, different types of root systems are present uh, which are tap root system fibrous root system and adventitious root systems root uh, roots provide uh, nutrition and whereas in some plants a uh, root synthesizes uh, growth regulators which are which helps plants to grow very well with healthy conditions and which uh, which is resistant to all diseases and uh, roots are helpful for absorption of water and minerals and minerals from the soil okay and in that roots are uh, root systems are of three types root tap root system fibrous root system and adventitious root system and first one is tap uh, tap root system you can see here the diagram how i have drawn this and it is having the main axis one root main axis from uh, from there the primary secondary and tertiary uh, roots are uh, developed okay uh, we'll read it uh, the direct elongation of radical leads to the formation of primary root and which grows into the soil i said you know the primary growth uh, root sorry the primary root grow, grows into the soil and which pro, which later on produces the uh, further uh, further roots <clears throat> from the main axis only it bears lateral roots of several orders that are referred to uh, to as second uh, that that are referred to as secondary roots, tertiary roots. Okay, the primary roots and its branches constitute the tap root system. Uh, this is the tap root system, and example is monocotyledons. And um, uh, under that monocotyledons, uh, carrot and turnip are the example I have given over here. Okay, and whereas next topic, uh, next one is fiber root root, root system. You can see here. Uh, the stem uh, from all the roots are originated from the stem but there is no main axis like in the taproot system uh, we'll see root uh, these roots originate from the base of the stem and constitute fibrous root system fibrous means it is like bunch uh, you can see uh, say it as a bunch of roots it is having the bunch of roots which is all are all are arranged from the main axis okay example is monocots and them itself it is indicating that advantageous it is very uh, very advanced in state okay example is monster and bunion tree where uh, you have seen the bunion uh, bunion tree no it is called as marichetto or uh, you can see such type of roots uh, roots are all uh, originated from the branches of the tree okay arises from the branches of the tree the next is modification the roots are modified into many types that uh, we can see over here uh, modifications what are the modification we can find of uh, modifications we'll see roots are the part of the plant which is mainly used to support and encourage of plants which gives the main support for the plants is only the roots and under the modifications how many types uh, how many of types they have modified first one is storage roots and they store the food roots uh, roots store the food what are that example is carrot and radish are modified to perform special functions like storage of food these are the roots of that uh, tree or else plant uh, plants only uh, these are the roots of that plant and where it stores the food which is utilized uh, during unfavorable conditions or else by human beings okay uh, this the stored food in roots are utilized during unfavorable conditions okay i said you know then next whereas uh, next one is respiratory respiratory roots which which are helpful uh, for the respiration process and it will it is providing some pore like structures uh, for the exchange of gases 
roots like rhizophora are modified for gaseous exchange they have minute pores which help to extend gases i said you know you can see such uh, roots whereas in your college laboratories your lab assistants will give you uh, this types of roots for dissection stem cuttings and root cuttings you know you will you will be having all practical things you know uh, at the time they will be providing this type of roots okay still uh, next one is still roots Pro, uh, roots provide mechanical strength it will pro, uh, supports the uh, plant or tree and it will provide mechanical strength to the plant uh, example is sugar cane and next cleansing roots uh, it this is also providing the same mechanical strength and support to the plant uh, to the plant uh, example is orchids these are the ornamental plants and flowering plants and next roots that help to withdraw nutrition from other parts of the plant cascata that is sucking roots uh, th uh, these roots are grabbing all the nutrition from the all over the parts of the plant and uh, utilized by itself okay next is climbing roots roots provide aerial support to plants it is providing the support to the plant to stand um, okay and example is vanilla air is a more useful thing for the floating purpose you know that's what the name itself indicating the floating roots which is filled up with the air uh, the roots are fully filled up with the air for floating purpose okay example is water lily and assimilatory roots uh, the roots will be performing photosynthesis example is strapa these are the modifications of roots and the root systems okay